All right, fourth graders, time to start chapter four. So this is lesson 4.1, and it is, I can use multiples to estimate quotients. So we're moving on from multiplication to division in this chapter. Okay, so we need to take down five vocabulary terms. There are three on this page. There are two on the next. Um, I'm going to talk through these. So you can be writing them and thinking about the definition and the example. If you need to pause, go ahead and pause. Um, but you need to write all this down in your notebook. Okay, so since we're doing division, let's go over our division vocabulary words. First one, divisor. The number that divides the dividend. So the divisor in 20 divided by 5 equals 4. The divisor is 5. The next vocabulary term is the dividend the number that is to be divided in a division problem. So again, 20 divided by 5 equals 4. 20 would be our dividend. And then quotient, the answer to a division problem. So again, if you look at 20 divided by 5 equals 4, the quotient would be 4. All right, feel free to pause. There are two more vocab words we need to talk about before we hop into our skill. Um, counting number, a whole number that can be used to count a set, a set of objects. So counting numbers start at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and they keep going on. Any whole number that you could use to count something. And finally, a multiple. The product of a number and a counting number. So down there, I listed the multiples of 3. So the multiples of 3 would be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, right? goes on forever, okay? Um, and as you can see below that, I showed you how we get multiples, okay? We get multiples by using a counting number, right? And multiplying it by the number you want the multiple of. So you see the 1 the 2, the 3, the 4, those are the counting numbers, and then each time we're looking for multiples of 3, that's why we're multiplying it by 3. So 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, right? And you could go on and on and on. All right, now that we have these written down, let's hop into estimating quotients using both counting numbers and multiples. So, the first problem we're going to estimate is 110 divided by 8. So, step one. This is what you need to write. List the multiples. Okay? So, in this problem, we're going to list the multiples of 8. So, that really, the first thing you do is list the multiples of the divisor. Okay? And as you can see, these are where our multiples of 8 are going to go. These are where our counting numbers are going to go. So writing the counting numbers is pretty easy too, right? I'd include that in step one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, and then you need to list the multiples of 8. So some of them are done for us. 8, 16, 24, 32. What would come next? Well, 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 6 is 40. Eight. I think I'm going to use different color. That's kind of hard to see. Let me use black. That'll be good. So 40. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 9 is 72. 8 times 10 is 80. 8 times 11 is 88. 8 times 90 or 8 times 12 is 96. 8 times 13, hmm, I don't have that memorized, but I could just add 8 more on to 96. So I added 4 on to get to 100. 4 more would give me 8 more, so that'd be 104. Okay, so notice it says list the multiples of 8 until you reach 110 or greater, right? So that's why we kept going on and on and listing our multiples, because you want to get at least to your dividend or greater. So that's why they decided to stop at 112. Okay, step two. Find the multiples of 8 
that 110, your dividend, is between. Okay, so looking at our multiples up here, which multiples have 110 between them? Hmm. Looking, oh, 104 and 112. 110 would be between those. So now it's saying 13 times 8, well, that's 104. 14 times 8, well, that's 112. 110 is between 104 and 112. So 110 divided by 8 is between 13 and 14. Now it says 110 is closest to, hmm, is 110 closer to 4 or closest to 112? It's closer to 112. That's only 2 away, right, instead of 6 away. So 110 is closest to 112. So 110 divided by 8 is about, this is where we use our counting number, is about 14. All right, don't worry about the last because I didn't include the word problem. Okay, so reviewing. First step, list the multiples of your divisor until you at least get to your dividend or greater. Okay, then you think about, well, which multiple is my dividend closest to? And then you look at the counting number you had to use to get close, and that's your estimate. So let's try another one. Morgan has 196 pieces of Halloween candy. She wants to give all of the candy to her four friends. Oh, that's nice. About how many pieces of candy will each friend receive? Well, again, you don't have to write down this whole word problem. I'm just going to underline what you should write down. 196 pieces of Halloween candy. Give all of the candy to four friends about how many pieces will each friend receive only the underlined parts you can just make a bulleted list of that important information so really what they're asking us is to divide right 196 pieces of candy divided by four friends that'll tell us how many pieces of candy each of the four friends will receive. So, step one. List the counting numbers and multiples of the divisor. So, I'm just going to list some counting numbers here. Now, wow, look at our dividend. I have to list multiples of four until we get close or over 196? Holy cow. I don't think I want even want to start at one, because I know four times one is way far away. Hmm, I don't even think I want to start at 10 as a counting number because 4 times 10 is 40 and that's not even close to 196. Hmm, I think I'm going to start at 40 as my counting number because I know 40 times 4 is 160, right? Because I know 4 times 4 is 16 and then 1 zero. Okay, so 160 is a little bit closer. So let's work from there. What if I did 50? 50 times 4 would be, well, two, 4 times 5 is 20 and another 0. Ooh, that's really close to 196. Okay, so let's back off a little bit from 50. Let's do, let's do 49, right? Instead of doing 4 times 49, I'm just going to count back 4 from 200. Hey, look at what we have there. I see a multiple of 4 that is exactly our dividend. <gasps> so really, we found kind of our exact answer when we were even trying to estimate. So we could say about... 49 or 50 pieces of Halloween candy, right? 
But we know, right, 196 is right on the money. So if we had to pick, right, we would pick about 49. Nice. Let's do one more. Okay. A restaurant has 68 chairs. There are six chairs at each table. About how many tables are in the restaurant? So again, you don't need to write down everything. 68 chairs. Six chairs at each table. About how many tables? So again, they want us to divide the 68 total chairs by six chairs at each table to find out how many tables there are. Okay. Well, again, step one. List your counting numbers and multiples of your divisor. So again, I'm going to think, hmm, what's a multiple of 6 that's close to 68? Well, I know 10 times 6 is 60, so I'm going to start my counting number there. Okay, the 10th multiple of 6 is 60. The 11th multiple of 6 is 66. Ooh, that's really close. But I need to get at least to my dividend or higher, so I'm going to do 6 times 12, right? And that would be mm, 72. Yeah. Okay, so now we need to see, hmm, my dividend, 68, is between what two numbers? Well, it's between 66 and 72. Now I think, well, 68 is closer to 66 or 72? Well, it's, it's definitely closer to 66, right? It's only two away. So, about, right? And this is where you look to the counting number, right? About 11 tables, right? Okay. So if you need to go back through and watch the steps, go for it, right? Remember, first step, list the counting numbers and the multiples. Find the multiple that's closest to your dividend, and then look at the counting number, right? That's your estimate for your quotient. All right, here are your practice problems. Only two of them. Joy collected 287 lumum cans in six hours. About how many cans did she collect per hour? And then the second problem, Paul sold 162 cups of lemonade in five hours. About how many cups of lemonade did he sell each hour? Again, use those steps, use counting numbers and multiples to estimate those quotients. Have a good night.